Hi guys, Goofy Noofy here. Welcome to the Goofy Review. Don't mind the noise if you can hear it. I'm not sure if you can or not. It's the air conditioning running in my truck. It's freaking hot outside and I want coffee break so I got the truck running and I got the AC going. So um, I got a little tip for those of you who have to go into the field welding and uh, you have to weld pilings or uh, angle irons and stuff like that. Mostly the pi round pilings are about the worst. Uh, when they're driven into the ground, they're usually spun clockwise and drove down into the ground. And what that does is it magnetizes the frickin' piling. And if you got to weld to it afterwards, it's a pain in the frickin' ass. Because your, your, your puddle wants to follow the magnetization. So if you got a cap or uh, another piece of pipe or something you're putting on top, your puddle wants to just go straight down and follow the magnetization on the one below it. Even if, like, I'll show you here. See, this is what I'm welding. Big 10 inch pilings with caps on them. And as you can see right in the back where my ground clamp is, it's attached to the cap on top. And I have to weld those down and they're magnetized so badly that even with my ground clamp on the top of that cap, it still wants to just ride on the pipe and not on the actual cap. So, what you do to counteract that, it, it helps a bit. It doesn't completely take it away, but it does help quite a bit. You don't get as bad arc blow. Is uh, take your your lead cable, your ground, whichever way you weld. If you weld freaking clockwise, you wrap that thing around the pipe counterclockwise. If you weld counterclockwise, you wrap it around the pipe clockwise. You wrap it about three, four, five times, whatever. And then when you start welding, you'll notice a difference because the, the electricity and the charge going through that cable as it's spiraling helps demagnetize that piling a little bit and you're, you, it, w it won't be so bad when you go to weld to it. it it's not going to get rid of it 100% but it does take it down quite a bit and it is noticeable difference so for those of you who have to go out welding pilings and stuff like that or even those of you who have welded pilings and you're wondering why it's such shit to weld to that's why okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tune in for more. Bye-bye for now.